What's up everybody, Architect here. Today we're going to be talking about basic missile defense and the SA-6 Gainful Air Defense System. In this video I'll be covering the most effective missile evasion techniques for this medium range surface air missile system. By having a greater understanding of this missile system you will have better survivability in a high threat environment. I'll be covering the other SAM systems in future videos so don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitch for more content. The SA-6 Gainful Mobile Surface-to-Air Missile System is a Soviet-era Russian low-to-medium-level air defense system designed to protect ground forces from attack. Each SA-6 battery consists of a number of similar tracked vehicles, one of which carries the straight flush search and track radar system. The battery usually also includes four triple missile transporter erector launcher vehicles. The SA-6 began development in 1958, and after overcoming technical difficulties, the system was accepted into service in 1967 and went into production that same year. The straight flush radar system operates at 25 kilowatts in the G and H band and is equipped with a continuous wave illuminator in addition to an optical sight. It has a 240 horsepower diesel V6 engine, allowing it to travel a maximum speed of 44 kilometers over a range of 260 kilometers without refueling. It has a maximum effective range of 20 nautical miles and a maximum effective altitude of 26,000 feet. The SA-6 Transporter Erector Launcher Vehicle is a similar tracked vehicle with the same engine, speed, and range. It carries three 3M-9M missiles. It is usually accompanied by rearming trucks containing additional missiles and a crane to assist with reloading. Reloading takes approximately 10 minutes. The 3M9M missile has a top speed of Mach 1.75 and uses a combined propulsion system. This propulsion system includes a solid fuel rocket motor used in the boost phase and once burned out, forms a combustion chamber for a ramjet. This was a first of its kind and put the missile far ahead of its contemporaries in terms of propulsion. The SA-6 can only launch against a single target at a time However, it will launch two missiles against a single target to improve probability of kill. Acquisition time from detection to launch is approximately 28 seconds, which gives the defending pilot a fairly long warning before being engaged. This, combined with a fairly low trap rejection rate of around 50%, significantly reduces the threat this missile system poses to the defending pilot. We will be covering three missile defense maneuvers today, beaming, not to be confused with notching, although they are similarly employed, terrain masking, using landmass to break line of sight between the aircraft and the radar, and finally, the split S followed by extending breaking S turns to defeat the missile kinematically. The first defense we will be covering is the beaming defense. To employ this defensive tactic, you just need to put the missile battery on your 3-9 line. Simply put the radar on your 3 o'clock or 9 o'clock and hold it there until the missile is defeated. The beaming defense works by making the missile work the hardest to get to you. Because the missile will try to lead you, by forcing the missile to constantly be in a hard turn to try to reach you, it's one of the fastest ways to bleed a missile's energy. As you can see, once the missile was out of energy, it self-detonated. The next missile defense we will discuss today is terrain masking. Terrain masking is the act of putting a landmass either between you and the missile for active radar guided systems, or between you and the radar for semi-active radar guided systems, such as the SA-6. In the case of the SA-6, once you break line of sight with the radar, the missile is defeated. The missile system will then need 28 seconds to reacquire and launch follow-up shots. Let's see how we accomplish this with nearby terrain. As you can see, the missiles were defeated when line of sight was broken. It also takes time for the SA-6 to reacquire for subsequent launches.
The final technique we will discuss today is the split S, followed by extending breaking S turns. To accomplish this, you will perform a split S, which is rolling inverted into a half loop to put the missile sight on your 6 o'clock. You will then perform breaking turns 15 to 30 degrees in an S pattern to bleed the missile's energy. Let's look at that again from the TAC view. Once the missile's motor burns out, you will see that the missile's energy is rapidly depleted by the turns. At a point in the engagement, the missiles will no longer be able to catch you due to its low energy state relative to yours. Thank you so much for watching, I hope this helps you on your next flight and provides survivability in a high threat environment. The next video we will be covering a long range SAM system so if you enjoyed this video feel free to subscribe and follow me on Twitch. You're also welcome to join our Discord in the link below. I look forward to catching you in the next one and I'll see you on the flight line.